Hey YouTube, it's Eileen and I'm here with another video and in this video I'm going to color my hair and show you guys. So I said before in my last trick video that I colored the front of my hair. I didn't do as much as I originally wanted to do because I was scared how it looks. But I ended up liking the color so um, I'm going to finish the back. I didn't touch the back at all. And I'm going to go higher up in the front. As you can see, um, the roots are really black, like pretty far down and that's what I thought I wanted but now I really like the color so I'm going to go farther up. Um, so your hair should probably stretch before you start this, but I forgot completely about this. I actually didn't even really originally plan to dye my hair today. I wanted to do it tomorrow, but I suddenly ran into a lot of time, so I decided why not. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Go ahead and do that, but maybe you, if you have time, you should stretch it. Um, I do have a blow dryer. I don't want to apply heat to my hair before doing this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I think I'll be fine anyways. But here's some things that I'm using. I said I'm gonna use the Clairol Textures and Tones and Ruby Rage. This is what the box looks like and all that stuff. Um, gonna use some aluminum foil. This is really big pieces, but I'm gonna slice them up based on the sections of hair that I use. Um, although the Clairol Textures and Tones comes with its own bottle, I also have this. Um, I don't even know this. I guess dye brush and dye bowl. I, I guess that's what it's called. And I'm gonna use that for. Um, to kind of control how much farther up I'm going to go on to um, for the top part and yeah so oh and also the shower cap um, for processing last time when I did this I processed for about 45 minutes so I think I'm going to do that maybe go on to an hour not too sure uh, what comes in the bottle of the textures and tones is first um, this which is like the red base then here which is the activating cream and this lastly is the conditioner and instructions that also come with gloves inside of it now I'm gonna skip the instructions because I already have done this before I'm just trying to get out the gloves really nice white gloves and then um, what you do which is really easy and I'm also skipping the strand test uh, it's important to do a strand test to see how long the processing is but like I said I did this already so I already know how long I want to do it um, but I would suggest to read through all the instructions and do the strand test um, anyways I'm gonna open this up so you open up two and one and mix them together just um, pour it in I'll show you right here pour 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 all of it in like so. Okay. Now get the top again, cover it, and you want to leave this little thingy on so you can shake. I'm going to shake away until this base thing gets like really wet. So this is testing my arm strength. <laughs> but anyways, keep shaking. So now the color is nice and red. I'm gonna let it sit for like about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this section right here. So I'm gonna come a bit closer and I'm gonna apply this to my hair. Remember, like I said, it should be, um, your hair should be stretched, but I was too impatient for that. So I am put it, just getting some putting it in the palm of my hand and raking it through my hair. And also at the same time, I'm kind of like detangling because um, I don't want to have any tangles when I take this out. So yeah, as you can see, it's getting in my hair. Hair is getting nice and red in color. And the reason why I'm being so imprecise with this is because I want it to be imprecise. I don't want like a really like I don't know, clear cut and defined lines really. That looks too, too planned. And I don't really want that. I think that's as far as up as I want to go. So, um, now that I'm done with that section, I'm gonna grab the aluminum foil, rip a small piece, sort of like this size. It's basically based on the length of your hair, which this might be too short, and it is. All right, well, 
the idea is just to wrap your hair around. I'm gonna go ahead and use a bigger, longer slice. I guess that's good, right? My hair is longer than I thought it was. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. Just wrap it around. And I found that this produces heat against your head so that it speeds up the processing time so the chemical is not in your hair for as long, but you still get as vibrant as the color that you originally wanted, so. section and then um, apply some of the dye and then uh, make sure my hair gets really vibrant and red and then wrap it up in aluminum foil and wait for 45 minutes I will wash it out I will condition it with the conditioner that they provided for about three to five minutes then I'll do a deep conditioner as I mentioned in my last video the same deep conditioning process mine is a beautiful steamer I'll just keep it under a cap for about like two hours I don't have my steamer with me and then after that, I will wash it out and I'll come back and I'll show you guys the color. I'm so excited. So stay tuned. <laughs> 